This is Robert Cheek from veganbodybuilding.com here with Eco Vegan Gal. Excited to be here in LA at the JW Marriott for Earth Day, a super important day for me, someone who follows a plant based diet. So excited to see who's here and talk to them about their eco friendly diet. So can you tell me how your diet is eco-friendly or how your diet lifestyle? My diet? Yeah. Uh, well, look, my wife is the is the uh, kind of organic food Nazi. So so she um, makes sure that there's nothing but organic food in the house. So we have our own organic garden at our place in Malibu, and another one up at our, our uh, we have a small ranch up in Santa Barbara, and there we we grow everything. You know, we, we have we have livestock and stuff. But uh, you know, so we eat greens from our own garden and that sort of thing. I love the little. Uh, Cherry tomatoes. We make our own. We grow our own strawberries. We make our own uh, goat milk yogurt, and uh, and uh, you know uh, we have goats. Sometimes we can get the kids to milk them. Sometimes they're not into it. You know, but I mean it's it's that sort of thing. It's trying to raise your kids with a value system. It's not about food comes from a store. Right. And uh, I want more stuff. I want more shiny toys. I want you know trying to not raise them to be little consumers. You know. Right. All right. I grew up on a farm as well. Yeah. So did I. I mean. Uh, I, I actually grew up in a, in a neighborhood, but it was right next to the woods. I spent all my free time in the woods, and I spent my summers on my uh, grandfather's farm, helped with the harvest and all that stuff. What so, state? Where'd you grow up? Well, it was actually in Canada. It was in, oh. uh, in the Niagara Peninsula, that's where I grew up, and, and my grandparents' farm was north of Toronto. What's one tip that anybody can do to start eating more eco-friendly? Start a garden. Start a garden, grow some lettuce, grow some tomatoes. It's the easiest thing in the world. You know, eat your own. Watch a tomato grow. And eat it. You know, it's this, it, it's like it's almost seemed miraculous to us in our society. You know, and it's ludicrous. It's a, it's for, for the, the previous you know ten thousand years, it, a tomato was not miraculous. But to, to you know to kids growing up in the city, watching something grow and then eating it seems like a, like a miracle. Right. How how important is organic foods? Do you think? I think it's very important. I mean, I think again there needs to be more transparency on what they mean by organic and exactly what type of uh, you know pesticides and so on are, are used and there are, as we now know there are levels to organic and the second organic became hip it, it sort of got it, it sort of got pimped out as a concept so people need to do a little more digging about what that means I tell you there's nothing more organic than what you get from your own garden right right well, and the question. more the more the more of your own food you grow the less food miles you're responsible for so the less fuel that's getting burned to move your salad to you right you know it's ridiculous you walk out, you pick it, you eat it. You know, instead of it coming from 3,000 miles away on a diesel truck and you know contributing to global warming. Exactly. Favorite meal straight out of the garden? Either your wife makes or you make. Oh uh, well, my wife makes a mean salad uh, from our from our organic garden up at our ranch, and it's it's spectacular. And we all look forward to it. In fact, we like to go to the ranch just because we like the food there. It's true. <laughs> that's, and that's just up in Santa Barbara County. It's nothing nothing exotic. You know, it's just uh, just simple green. And, you know, tomatoes and it's, it's excellent. Great. Well, I appreciate what you're doing for the environment and I appreciate what you're doing in media on a mainstream level too.